So I just wanted to show a thing real quick because this is like really confusing and I'm wondering if it has something to do with um, the fact that I'm exporting videos right now. So I'm exporting all of the current um, Thousand Year Door VODs and I was trying to transfer vlog footage earlier because you know it's Wednesday, it's a new week and what have you. But there's no phone connected currently but it's still reading as if there's a phone connected and it's not noticing any uh, changes in, in hardware. And if I try to go in here, it's like, oh yeah, the size of the phone that this is currently being built on. But then this is empty, but there's no phone connected. So I'm really confused <laughs> and I've not seen that before. So I'm like hoping that that gets like done <laughs> fairly quickly because uh, I had, I have vlog footage that needs to still be transferred, and like it wasn't connecting my phone, and the uh, the transfer stick still is uncooperative. So I open this thing, and what this does is like it lets me plug a an SD card into my phone. So I put the remaining vlog footage onto an SD card, and I tried putting that in, and that still wouldn't register. And that's when I noticed that the um. It was showing the, uh, the iPhone is being still connected. So I'm like, huh? What? I'm confused. So, when these are done, I'm gonna, like, try to restart my computer and hope that helps. But these are long, so they're taking a while. So I might have to, like, do it tomorrow or another day or whatever. So, eh? Eh? <laughs> eh? Hello and welcome to Thursday. Uh, today was 7-Eleven. Which means something to some people. But, for me, it means it's a Thursday. <laughs> um, me and Amber went and streamed more Paper Mario. And I played through all of Chapter 5. And Flavio is a pain. Whatever. But after talking to Amber after the stream, uh, I pretty much came to the conclusion we're doing okay. I was worried that for a little bit there that we wouldn't have time to like finish the game before she had to go back to, to school. But we actually seem like we're making pretty good progress. I'm, I'm personally, I think we're gonna be fine. Cause, so there's six, seven, eight, probably a pit of a hundred trials. So that's four. If things go very poorly, five. So we should be fine, especially if we continue being able to do two streams a week, which is a little up in the air right now, but we can make something work. Um, so, coming up is inventory at work, and that causes a lot of stress. Uh, so that week we'll only be able to do Thursday. And then after that, I think I'm off Tuesday. I'll have to double check. But, like, if we have to do, like, one stream or two stream, preferably just one, after school has technically started, we can. And worst case scenario, we can find another time that we're able to do it other than Tuesday, Thursday morning. It would be ideal if we're able to like consistently keep that, but obviously it's a bit of a struggle. But like I said, we can find something and make it work. It's just, I hope we're able to like do something good. I did a Xenoblade 3 stream. We got to 99.99% because Nikhil had had a few drinks and is bad at, at math, 
which is not a good thing for a licensed doctor to be bad at, if you ask me, but, you know, whatever. But, uh, we've, we've been having fun with Xenoblade 3. The ongoing thing is, oh, I'll do all the side quests that you want me to do, which is all of them, uh, if you reach this many bits, collectively, before I fight the final boss. And, uh, I knew it was gonna be met, because I didn't make it very high, <laughs> and it's been, like, ongoing for quite some time now. So it's kind of just been a thing in the background that they can, like, add to when they have some extra cash. And now that Nikhil has, like, gotten into work properly and, like, able to start making money and bringing home a little bit of extra spending money, he's like, okay, it's my time. And then he's bad at math and didn't actually complete it, and Kim had to throw in a few extra bucks to, to tease him <laughs> and put it at 99.99. <sighs> anyway, I'm enjoying the game. We're getting really close. We're in the final chapter, but the game has us going around the world, so I figured I'll at least do the ones that I promised and try to um, do some side quests that I feel like doing along the way. We'll see, though. So when I got home from work today, there was a thing waiting for me. And let me get it. It was this box. And now I know what one thing in this box is, but nothing else. This is going to be from my buddy, Beck. He pre-ordered my Noah and Mio amiibos for me. But in addition to that, he went to Japan recently and said that he was gonna include something for me. It, something like gift-y. And I don't know what that is, because he didn't tell me. I also didn't like ask very heavily, but it was a gift, I figured it would probably be a good idea to let it be a surprise. So we're gonna open this and see what it is. Okay, so I see something with a Nintendo logo and I was like, hmm, let me be careful not to look too farther, but I wanted to make sure the box was open so that none of the addresses were showing. But it is still, uh... all right, let's start with this, because I know I knew what this was. I knew what this was. This was, ooh, how pretty. I love it. This I'm almost definitely gonna take out of the box as much as I feel like I shouldn't. But like, let's put the Mio Amiibo with the Mio Figma and the Nia. Hmm. This is interesting. I don't know what this is. Or this. This is a Pokemon thing. Ashes, hang on. Oh my god, that's adorable. Hang on. Ashes Pikachu. Meowth VMAX. Lapras VMAX. Is this all of, all of uh, Pokemon that Ash had, or... Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. These cards are so pretty. Mega Charizard Y Pikachu Tag Cosplay. Mega Altaria. Mega. These are fucking adorable. Oh my god. Okay, but like, the Ashes Pikachu one is... It's not the cutest of the bunch, but it is definitely my favorite of the bunch. I choose you. Oh, I love that. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to look at these, like, more in-depth in a minute. And then this looks like a shirt, but oh, there's another thing. What are we? Super Mario Magnet Collection. Ooh. Oh, it's the box art of all the games. That's really cool. Hang on. How do I open? Well, I have to cut it open. I don't want to cut it right this second, because I only have 
One hand. I probably should have put my phone on the on the stand, to be honest. But we'll uh will you magnet through the box? No. Okay. We'll come back to you then. Anything else stopping this from coming out? No? Okay. So this looks like a shirt. <gasps> oh, it's a Pikmin shirt! Oh my god. Hang on. Oh my god, I love it so much. And they're like... They're not like flat, they're not printed on, they're actually like... Put into it, like... They're like poking out a little. Like that's not a printed on shadow, that's like an actual shadow. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, I love this. I love this so much. Thank you. Oh my god. I hope... I hope it didn't cost you a, an arm and a leg, but jeez, that, sh that stuff is really cool. I really love this shirt more than everything else. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so excited. Why am I so orange? Hang on. What's going on here? Auto white balance, what are you doing? Okay, let's try that again. So, I have all of these VODs scheduled, right? But I didn't stop there. I have two more going. The Luigi's Mansion VODs are going to be coming to the VOD channel next. Um, after th these final Xenoblade 2 and the Paper Mario stuff gets caught up, Luigi's Mansion's gonna come because that's something Luna is gonna work on soon. I don't know exactly when, but soon. Um, but also I was talking to a friend of mine and he was like, Hey, you played this on stream? I was like, yeah, do you want me to put the VODs up soon? He was like, yeah. I was like, cool, because that beats the hell out of the uh, Twitch player. So I figured that would be next on the chopping block. And so I, I did it. I got, it, I got them ready. They're uh, exporting now. Um, basically, they'll be good to go, and I'll have them scheduled. I'll schedule them tomorrow. I don't know exactly when they're gonna come out, but I'll, I'll upload and schedule them tomorrow. But that was really the only thing I wanted to get done today. I had thought about recording of any visits because I promised Cloud that I would do one of a, a very specific game that he bought me before, um, before the trip. And it's been a few months now and I'm like, oh crap, I never did that. I need to do that. <laughs> Along with, sending him the stuff that I bought him. I, I, it's, it's been busy. It's been very busy with work. Um, but I need to get out to the post office and, and send him his stuff. And then do, and as well as do that many visits. But I am making progress on everything, so I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm getting there. But uh, when I got home from work, I was like, okay, I need to do something. So this is what I landed on, and I got it done. And that's one less thing to worry about in the future. So I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy. And the end goal is get all of the, um, get it to the point where VODs can come out pretty much as they happen. Which is only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Hi. So, one of the things that I used to have in here when my entire setup was in here is the Switch dock. Now, I have this TV, and I do use the TV. And it is nice to have the TV, especially for, like, watching YouTube and stuff. But one of the things I enjoyed doing was popping my Switch on and laying in bed, and getting comfy and playing with the Joy-Cons and being able to like be comfy and not have to deal with a controller. So what I've done, and it, pardon the mess, it's stuff has piled up, but 
I brought this switch dock in here. And now you might be wondering, why do you, where did that come from? Technically, we have had that switch for a few years now. Uh, and it obviously came with a dock because unless it's a switch light, it should be coming with a dock. Um, so I brought that in here and I have set it up. I plugged it in, but I didn't uh, grab an HDMI to like properly hook it up. But I have it set up so that I can just pop it on and either grab my switch from in there or tr maybe play something on here, I don't know. But probably get the one from in my office and play on that in here and get comfy and, and such. So I'm happy to have that and I really should get the HDMI, but by and large, it's a matter of convenience because I have a lot of stuff that I want to play. And especially now that I have the MIG switch, I only have to bring that and the switch in here. I don't have to worry about making sure I have the right game and, and what have you. Because most of the games I'm going to want to play are currently on the MIG switch. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm happy there. So I'm going to in soon, whenever I stop procrastinating, set up an HDMI and, and be able to play again. Boy, you better be careful, otherwise you won't get them there sunburn. Lay right in the sun right by the door. Good grief. So after the last clip, I went and, and, and had work. I don't normally work on Tuesdays, but that's fine. Um, it's whatever. But I did want to show this off, because I don't really have much else going on today. Um, so we had pizza last night, and I was going to have leftovers. And this was the only, these two were two out of the three last slices left. But this one is so messed up. And it was in the box like that, and I have no idea what happened. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. <laughs> because you can't... You can't let a good pizza go to waste. That's all I'm gonna say. You can't let a good pizza go to waste. So I'm gonna eat it. And then I'm gonna show you something else. The actual thing that I... am doing today. So for the actual thing that I wanted to show you... The, um... One of the things that I have to do to like meet my goals for the year is getting the old VODs out. So what I've decided to do is make a checklist of every, every VOD, every step of the process of getting them ready. And then I needed a way to do that. So I got a little writing tablet from work and this page I have Sunshine, next page I have Torna and Feature Connected, and I haven't gone any further than that yet, I because I just wanted to like have the basics to show the, the process. So there were seven streams of Sunshine, and let me get the pen so that I can like point to stuff. So P stands for prep, which takes place in Premiere. It's like cutting short the starting screen so that it starts on Now or Never and muting mics and the same thing for the end screen. Just making sure that Never Gonna Give You Up is the only thing playing. U is for uploading, very self-explanatory. S is for scheduling. This also includes tags, titles, uh, uh, description, which is where I will put the date that the stream originally happened and stuff like that. And then R is release. Uh, generally speaking, if it's at the point where everything is scheduled, then it's fine. I don't have to think too hard about release, but it is nice to like have that extra, yes, this came out. I didn't upload it and leave it private forever. And I'm gonna be doing that for all of the rest of the, um, the old streams, the VODs. Uh, until I'm done with them, which, outside of a couple that I'm a little unsure about, and the ongoing ones, um, there's only four, six, five, 
Six including the ongoing. How about that? So, overall, it's, it's going pretty good. And I'm, I'm making progress every day. Even if it's little things like, like, getting myself organized. <laughs> anyway, that's really the main thing that I wanted to talk about today, and so the week is over. <laughs> uh, I do not have truck tomorrow, so I will not be able to edit it on Wednesday. So I'll try to get it started tonight. We'll see. But I'm going to call it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hope you had yourself a damn good one. And I'll see you.